If you recall last time, on episode two of our Easy Rider adventure, I received a call from my farmer friend. Okay, I'll take them. I'll take them. We're gonna get some cow balls. And knowing that eating cow testicles is kind of a rite of passage on YouTube. These are cow testicles. Those are bull testicles, those huge things. But unlike the liver king, we thought we'd cook them. So these might not be something you normally see on the menu outside of a complete festival in Montana. They're holding the annual five day testicle festival. But it is something you would find on the menu quite regularly in Vietnam or Serbia. It is not easy to be testicle chef. Even though back in the day it was probably a regular thing on the menu because farmers ate everything but the oink they said. Or I guess in this case, the moo. So we're gonna head out and get ourselves some Rocky Mountain Oysters. Rocky Mountain Oysters, also known as Mountain Oysters, Meatballs, and Prairie Oysters, is a dish made of bull testicles. You are gonna have to eat two testicles. Quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. We got something special Chris doesn't know. He thinks we're just going out to catch and cook fish today. And you know how squeamish he was about the fish in the first episode? I can't. No. <laughs> And I've never tried it before, and it's something I've always wanted to do. We're gonna have cow Rocky Mountain oysters. bought a bike on Facebook, she came with a box of parts, now we gotta get it running. So join me as I repair this old 77 Harley Davidson Sportster and take it on seven days of catch and cook adventures throughout the state of Maine. Woo. That's Chris, and I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Make Me a Mischief. And now that we're done with our catch and cook down by the river, we're gonna send Chris on a wild goose chase while I go get our real dinner. George's River Land Trust. I can take my time here and hopefully catch a fish. All right, here we are at uh, Chris's farm. Chris is the youth pastor at my church, the Anchor Church. And uh, he's been, you've been up here for what now? Just a little Two bit? Years. Yeah. Two years? Two years? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the goats are happy to see us apparently. And uh, he's got a bull. Yep. that needs taken care of, and that's why we're here. Hello, turkeys. We're not here for you. Hey, turkey. Oh, look at they let you pet them. And then, no. Hello. Look at how cute they are, the little guys. They taste the best when they're that size, too. He's got, a, from. he's got a temper, huh? <laughs> Their pigs are weird like that. They're the, the nicest, like, you know, you can pet them on the snout, all these things, oh, but yeah. if you try to grab onto them, man, they go nuts. Yeah. There we go. Could you scoop just a little bit more in here? Mm -hmm. Keep them busy. What you would do is grab the boys, yeah. You know, just kind of just touch them first. It sounds weird, uh, and then he'll get used to it. He may move, and you kind of just, yeah. So I'm just, just making sure they're good, you know. And then slide them up and over. Slide them up and over. If it doesn't work, we'll throw them in this. It's like banding a lobster. 
Pretty much. They're gonna fit through there? I don't know now, but we'll find out. So we're gonna have to like pull them through. Zip tie them, yeah, so. All right, here we go. And then once it gets up, what you can do is you can just pull the band off. Because like yeah. just letting it down probably won't let it do it, so. What do you mean, just let go? No, just do like, do like that. Oh, once just we get it up there, get it just up take there? a pinky and flick and it off. And flick it off? Yep. Is he, he's gonna freak out when I do that, huh? No, I don't, me may, we'll find out. I don't right, think right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Almost all the way up there. Alright, straight up on them? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Absolutely perfect. There we go. And we did it. We did it. And we got them so, both. They're both down there. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Alright. Sorry, now that we've helped him do that, we'll go to Curtis Meats and they've butchered some cows today and they got some for us. We'll grab some of those. And when those hit the ground, I'll let you know. And these will, and these will, with the bands, you know, this is the farm way of doing it nowadays too, instead of wasting some extra time, the bands, they uh, cut off the circulation, shrivels up, and they fall off. Originally when we talked on the phone, I thought we would be able to harvest these for our catching cook, but after talking to a veterinarian, we realized that he's a little bit too old for this, and the removal process would require anesthesia, which might cause an allergic reaction in myself or Chris, should we actually eat them. Hence the, we're gonna have to buy some. And we catch a pig. Striper at night and get stranded out there when the tide came in, so we had to stay there till midnight. It's quite the adventure. We're here to get our bull testicles, but uh, we're not allowed to film inside, which is too bad. It's a beautiful place, some beautiful meats here. I love coming here to get like a really good cut of meat. So we'll go in and get that. All right, we got our two balls in a sack. This is far more gruesome than I thought they would be. Let's go. Let's go cook these puppies up. They're so big, I barely get the set. Ugh, barely get it closed. Woo! Nice when you're riding, but that jacket's hot as soon as you stop. We'll see if we can't uh, get ourselves some onions and some fresh vegetables to really bring out those flavors of that tasty Rocky Mountain oysters. I have a hard time saying it. <laughs> Going all the way. Made it this far. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. A little something for dessert. We got some uh, honey ginger and some honeycomb ciders. That'll help wash it down. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your day. 47. Yep. Would you like a receipt today? Nope. You're all set. Have a great rest of your day. All right. I think I might have gone a little crazy. I may have some of this for another time. My jacket. Look at that. It all fits in there.
Home sweet home. Been a while. Hi, I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching 87 Days, the complete reenactment of all I did out on History Channel's Alone Show. Check out the playlist tab on my YouTube channel for all the series playlists that you may have missed. If you're new to the channel, we've done tons of fun series. There's our island. Trick Shot Tuesday. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is the Seven Day Water World Survival Challenge. Getting sturdy. All right, time to unload all my stuff. All right, we got our mushrooms. A whole bunch of mushrooms. Let's see what else we got in here. We got our garlics. We got our bag. That stuff. Soda pops. Ah, our popcorns. Now we need our balls. And our and our cow balls. I also stopped along the road at a spot where I knew these were, or I was told where they were by Sarah. Ground nuts. I've never had these before. Dug a couple of those up. I couldn't find a lot. I didn't have the shovel with me, so I couldn't really get into it and use the stick. Ground nuts with, well, you know what? I did end up getting some dill plants, which is cool because I'll use the dill off of this to make a savory cream to go on our Rocky Mountain oysters. Ooh. All right, where to start? Oh. Oh, it's Chris. It's Chris. Hey. Hello. Yeah, I'm up the river. I haven't caught anything yet, though. Okay, well, don't worry. I I got dinner. Just uh, come on up here. I got something. Oh, I got something. I I got something good. <laughs> Hopefully, it's delicious. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. Okay, bye. There we go. Whew, bugs are getting to me. I think I'm just going to do a plain, you know, kind of like a liver and onions type thing, and then do and then dump that out onto the plate. And then uh, do a cream sauce, a mushroom cream sauce. So I want to save some of my herbs and stuff to go into the mushroom cream sauce. And then we'll drizzle that all over the Rocky Mountain oysters. Brought some of my signature Fowler bug dope here. And uh, I lost the squirt bottle for it. So just bathing in it every 20 Five minutes or so, give them a couple. Whew, bugs are bad today. Let's get that fire going. Alright, 
Moment of truth. I'm pretty sure they cut up as meat when you cut into them. Let's see what I can do to cube it up. Let's just go right for the middle. Cut it right in half. Oh. Just a big... It's like it's like got a sausage casing on the outside and when you cut it, it like fanned out. This would have been better if I had chilled these a whole bunch, I think. It seems they're hard to work with. Extra baney bit high on the side, I'll cut all that stuff off. It's very weird, it's all white and stuff. I'm making these big old chunks. Like, if it's hard to gag down, like this big old chunk's not gonna make it any easier. That's a lot already. All right, now we just need our, this stuff, we'll go cook it. Ground nuts. go. Moment of truth. Well, I hope they're good. I, I have no idea how long you're supposed to cook them. They seem like they're kind of rubbery. It smells rather farmy to me, honestly. Um, it doesn't smell like delicious cooked steak. Right? All right, let's make the greens off. Some thyme. And maybe not as much rosemary this time, just a little bit. The basil, the mushrooms. I got a little carried away with the cook and I forgot these were supposed to be wadobo balls. And uh, I forgot, but we can put a little bit on now. I almost forgot I had a little bit of dill to add. I'll put some of that in there. Since we still have a little ways to go on the cream sauce, I made a kebab stick. I'm gonna try and just crisp up a couple more, a couple of these. Oh, Chris is here. Hey! What are you cooking? Smells decent. Steaks? Yeah, it, it's sort of steak. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, let's plate it up. All right, here we go. A little cream sauce on the food. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It looks awful rich. Awful rich. A little bit of that on the side for presentation. A little lemon if you want to squeeze some of that on there. Oh, little toasted ones on top. One, two, and three. All right, let's say grace. Lord, thank you for this food. Uh, bless this to our bodies. And uh, Jesus' name, amen. So what do we have here? <laughs> it's a... Uh, Still a surprise until it's, I taste it's it. It's sort of steak. It's sort of steak. If you can guess, I'll tell you. It looks like some sort of... I don't know. It looks a little white, kind of like more like a lamb chop. And I th I was actually just thinking Mushrooms. it has kind of a muttony smell to it. Oh, like lamb? Yeah, it does. Mm. Oh, very good. Oh, that's so good. No, it's excellent. Yep. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. No more. Go for the meat first. Yeah, all right, dink it and sink it. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. 
It tastes like uh, organ meat mm -hmm. of some sort. Oh, shoot. Which I guess it sort of is. It's balls. Cow balls. Figured it was something like that. <laughs> he knows me too well. It's not enough of a surprise. Bad. You're just too fun tired, I it's, think. He's it's like, <laughs> really not bad at all, though. Yeah, yeah. There's a slight level of chewiness because I just got a piece of that, like, skin from the outside. Yeah. Uh, it's like a really hard. Like, the flavor is good. Whatever you seasoned it with. Yeah, it's just wadobo, um, garlic. Um, some of this fresh garlic too that's like not ready so you peel off the outside oh, and you just scapes. cook the whole thing yeah with the scapes in there and then those beautiful mushrooms on the sauce yeah, those mushrooms are really good mmm that's a really chewy piece I got thankfully I haven't got that yet mmm <laughs> what would you get a uh, gristle a piece of vein or something mm-hmm yeah the sauce that you made is delicious. I know. That's uh. So I had some egg noodles to go with that. Jeez. Oh yes. So this is a ground nut. Yeah, this is just like a little starchy potato thing. Mm -hmm. Was your Not cooked bad. enough? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, in the cream sauce. That's really good. Oh, so this is small. just one ball. Oh, you didn't even cook both of them? No, because there's so much of it. <laughs> That, like, man could eat it for a week off one So side. I wonder what, like, a little sheep one's like. If Chevy Chase and Funny Farm is to be a believe, they're quite bite-sized. 29, the new record! <laughs> Folks just don't seem to have a taste for testicles no more. Sheep balls. Of course, Hollywood took liberties, and sheep testicles are about the size of a baseball weighing about a half a pound. And when it comes to the largest land animal, that's the bull elephant weighing in on almost nine pounds with a diameter of almost 12 inches. That's the size of a respectable globe. And of course, the biggest ones go to the North Atlantic right whale weighing in at 1,984 pounds on average. That's the weight of the Ford Fiesta in 1999 when it hit the showroom floor. It's almost like the... Uh the trachea, if you were to cook the trachea of a freaking turkey or something. Oh, you got a little piece that was gristly? Yeah. Yeah. Wanna try it, John? I need a biscuit. Sure. Testy. Test the test. One, two, three. Yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Go testing, testies, one, two, three. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad, huh? It's not bad at all. It's unlike any other cut of beef I've ever had, I can tell you that. Mm. I think I should have left it in and let it cook in the cream sauce though too uh slow yeah it could that way it could have like softened up even more we're trying to make a family show here and i don't know that there was any special point to this but doing this except for to show that trying something new you can pretty much eat anything and we do including rocky mountain oysters including rocky mountain oysters you know people in other countries don't waste Stuff like that. Like, I don't know why. I think here they probably don't waste it either. I bet you anything, if we were to ask them, they probably send a lot of this stuff out to be ground up and made into hot dogs that they sell at, uh, you know, no, you're right. Hannaford's and no. stuff. I've had tripe before. Have you ever had that? No. Next time on Fowler's Makery of Mischief, pickled cow stuff. We're going for tripe. It may look disgusting, but I love a bit of tripe. What a surprise, though. This is your description of a surprise. Is, it? Is this what you say here, kids? Oh, kids, we got a great surprise tonight. You weren't even that surprised. You were just like, oh, cow balls. Figured it was something like that. Oh, well, yeah. it's par for the course for you. Yeah, I guess so. Tuck in for the night. Yeah, tuck in for the night. And get then up early. We can stop by some gas station in the middle of the night and get something to eat. And, uh, and then go get those, um, get some squids. What is that when you have the egg noodles and the beef and the gravy and the... I forget what it's actually called. Beef stroganoff. Yes! Yes! Thank it's you. A, it's a beefy mm -hmm. oyster uh, mushroom. You, you know what? Look like at better. oyster mushrooms, Rocky Mountain oysters, ground nuts, and cream sauce. Cream. Well, that's it for us. We're going to go to bed so we can get up and do some squidding. And uh, I think that pretty much covers it. I don't usually say it, but if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. And 
thanks for watching. Thanks for, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate that. See you guys in the next one. Fowler Chris. and Chris, out. Yeah. Honestly, the weirdest thing that I picked up from, it's either you or your kids, what? is saying it's colder than Say burritos. That. I've oh. never, I never said that in my life. Oh, burritos. Yeah, like, and I, burritos. that's a thing. It's cold out here. I have coined that as one of my terms. Yeah. It's like, weird. See if Zach's goldfish is still in here. I think it's a survivor. <laughs>